Hey everyone, uh, I'm back. Um, this is my new background and yeah, I'm back now, properly. Uh, it's just taken so long to get my background done and I've been busy with college, um, but yeah, that's finished now, we're finished for summer, so there'll be lots more videos. Um, okay, so today I'm gonna do my what's in my makeup bag video. Um, I filmed my makeup collection on uh, as well as a room tour, um, which will be going up next week. So that's like my extra makeup, but this is just what I wear every day. So um, yeah. Okay, so this is my makeup bag. Um, it's Kat Kidston, and I like it because it's shiny, so you can wipe it clean if you get any makeup on it. Um, yeah, I really like it. It came in a set of three with two smaller ones. I don't really use the small ones for makeup, but um, the handy to have in your handbag. Right, so these are all my brushes that I use, um, various different things. Uh, I'll go through them all. This, they're a little bit dirty, they didn't need cleaning, I'm sorry. Um, this is the Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques that I use for my foundation. Um, it just buffs it into your skin really, really nicely, so that's my favourite brush probably. Uh, the next one is just a angled contour brush from Avon. Um, quite cheap, but it does the job and it's really good for contouring. Uh, the next brush is Real Techniques again. This one is the blush brush. Um, I don't really use it for blusher, I tend to use it for bronzing up my face, but um, it's a very good brush. Next one is again Real Techniques, this is the setting brush. Um, I use this for setting the concealer around my eyes. Um, and you can also use it for highlight on the top of your cheekbones. This one is the Real Techniques Ball Metal Eyeshadow Brush, the 200 brush. Um, my sister's got this in the set with the other two for my birthday and I love it for eyeshadow. Um, this one again is the Bold Metals brush, this is the 300 blush brush I think. Um, I use it for blusher, um, it's like perfect size for blusher. And the last one is the Real Techniques Bold Metal 103 powder brush. Um, it's massive and it is really good for powder um, on your whole obby face. Okay, next thing in my bag is my palettes. Um, this is my eyeshadow palette that I use every day, the Naked 3. And this is the Naked Urban Decay Flush Palette, which has um, my blusher, my highlight, and my bronzer. So I've pretty much got everything in there um, for when I'm out and about. So they're my two favorite palettes. As well as I have the Sleek Contour Kit, which I've kind of hit pan on now, but I still really like the highlight on it. Found another brush. This is a MAC. 275, um, really good for blending your eyeshadows out. It's just a fluffy brush. Okay, next is pencils and eyeliners. So this is my liquid liner that I use for making a winged eyeliner. Um, it's the L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim. It's like the best one. I've had like seven of these. Uh, okay, my lip liner, which is Essence Lip Liner in Saturn Mode 06. Just a nice pink. Um, my eyebrow pencil, which is number seven, it's all rubbed off now because I've uh, sharpened it so much, but it's number seven pencil in brown, I think, it has a little spoolie on the end. Um, I need to get soft another one of those. And my pencil eyeliner is the number seven Stay Perfect and Asian Eyes pencil. Um, just black for on the waterline. Found another brush, this is a angled brush, this is a MAC 266. Um, it's nice if you're doing um, eyeliner with eyeshadow or filling the eyebrows. Concealers. I have um, the Natural Collection, is it Natural Collection or just Collection? I have Collection Concealer in, I have two in number three and one in number one because I put three on first and one over the top to make it a bit of a highlight. So I have three of those. Uh, my powder, which is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which I use for setting my um, under eye concealer. I don't put powder all over my face, but if I did, I would use this. I have my moisturizer, which is Soap and Glory Sugar Crush. It's the body butter, but um, I just get the big tub and just decant some into this. Um, just so it's easier to carry around and it's really moisturising and I have quite dry skin, so um, it's really nice. A Ted Baker nail polish, which is in the colour... I don't know, it doesn't have a colour, but it's like a rose gold packaging, it's really pretty and it's a dark pink. A pencil sharpener for my eyeliner and tweezers. A clear mascara, which is disgustingly dirty, I need a new one, from Miss Sporty just for my eyebrows. I have an eyeshadow, which is L'Oreal Paris Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. It's like a gold shimmery colour, but um, like that. But um, if you can just put it on on its own, it looks really nice. I have my mascara, 
which I need a new one, I just dropped some nail polish. Um, which is the L'Oreal Miss Manga Mascara, I need a new one. I have my mirror. I have my lipstick, which is Essence. Um, I don't know the colour because it's all rubbed off, but it's just a pink colour. It's nearly gone. I have my EOS lip balm that I put on before my lipstick in... Which one is this one? It's a tropical one, I think. Um, the red one. And then last but not least, my two foundations, which are L'Oreal True Match in Rose Vanilla and Ivory, and I mix the two together. Okay, so that's everything in my makeup bag. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know what I should have in uh, let me know what I should have in my makeup bag or what you have the same or what's in your makeup bag. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye!